Today we're here at our customer Frealdo, uh, who's very kindly allowed us to make this film where we can show you how they use the blend equipment they have to produce concrete blocks using mold. The molds are filled with the concrete which is produced with the Blend 70. Uh, the customer we have here, he's using recycled material, 100% recycled material. He has another site down the road here, a few kilometers away, where all of the material is crushed and screened, and then the material which is finished is then stockpiled here, and then loaded into the blend as and when it's needed. Uh, this customer, he's taken from us one of our silos, it's a 32 cubic meter cement silo, feeding the cement directly into the blend. So at this stage of the procedures, the aggregates are loaded into the blend. First we saw the sand being loaded on one side, and at this point with a wheel loader they're loading in the equivalent of the gravel on the other side. So this is a blend which when it's full, it can hold 12 cubic meters of aggregates. That's divided between sand on one side, and gravel on the other. So these are divided into two separate bunkers. Each bunker has its own aggregate belt, which can move independently one from the other, or both together when you're producing concrete. So as we said before, this plant has two separate hoppers and two aggregate belts. This is the material the customer's using. So this is recycled sand. There's a lot of glass in this sand as well, as you can see, but it's 100% recycled. Obviously, one of the problems with sand is the humidity. This sand is quite humid, so they have to take that into contempt when they're producing concrete. Then the crushed aggregate is of very, very mixed size, as you can see. So there's quite a lot of other material in here as well. So the quality of the end product is always dictated by the quality of the materials that you're putting into the concrete itself. So those are the 100% recycled materials that this customer is using. Now, what he does is that he's filling um, a hopper with a screw. He's not filling directly into the molds as some other customers might do. Therefore, the machine is on, he's producing the concrete from the belt, he's using it and he has this swivel screw on the end, which swivels left and right if he needs to adjust the direction of the concrete. He fills this hopper with a screw and then this hopper is taken and they fill the molds. So, the customer's now prepared a couple of other molds to be filled. Uh, all of his molds are the same size because he's currently using them for himself and we'll see how he's using them later on. So, the mold has been cleaned and primed. Obviously, this they do the day before the pour. You've got the screw inside so that you can move the block once it's been made. It's very important to prepare the mold. You have to prime it with a diesel or a certain uh, primer which allows you to open the mold and not damage the concrete of the block itself. This means very simply that the concrete doesn't stick to the mold. So to move these molds, which are very heavy, there are a couple of different ways of doing it, but one of the easy ways is with a normal forklift to use these pins, which is supplied also together with the blocks, to lift the mold, and this can lift the mold either empty or full if necessary, but to lift the mold and to put it into position. Once the concrete has been emptied into this holding hopper on the loader, the customers decide to empty it directly into the mold itself to mit permit the operators to have an exact control of the quantity of the concrete going into the mold. The use of the vibrator is very important because you have to allow for her an homogeneous quality of the concrete inside the mold so that the concrete fills the mold perfectly and allows you to make a perfectly formed block. So once the mold is filled, obviously like all concrete, you need to finish it off. So with a nice trowel, you smooth off the top of the concrete and then leave it to set so, as we can see, this block is a one-size block, so if you fill it completely, you'll make a block of one size only. If you want to use or make smaller blocks, you can use this very simple dividing wall, insert it into the, the mould itself, leave it there, and then you'll make two blocks of two different sizes. So this customer, as I said, uses 15 moulds a day. He only pours once a day with each mould. And the idea is that he's using these blocks for himself. 
So they work early in the morning. By nine o'clock, they finished. They fill the molds with all the recycled concrete that they produce using the blend. And then they leave the molds and the blocks to dry. During the day, later on, they'll open the blocks, leave the block to dry, take the mold, clean it, and prepare it the next day. So here we are with the finished product. Uh, as we said before, this customer he has only one size mold because he's using it for himself. He's making his own walls. Uh, so these blocks are 180 by 60 by 60. He's put in one lifting pin per block. You can put in one or two, depending on how you want to move the blocks. Um, as you can see, each lifting pin is in the center of the block itself. Uh, I said he's only making one size block, but as we saw previously, you can use a dividing wall inside the mold to actually make blocks of different sizes. And over here we have some blocks of different sizes. As we said before, this customer is using 100% recycled aggregate to produce the concrete. This is the sand. Now this is the sand we saw in the machine itself. It's actually got a very high percentage of glass because it is taken from glass. So there we have the sand, quite humid. And then the aggregates, he has different size aggregates, obviously they're, because they're broken down into different sizes for different uses. This is similar to the one he's using in the blend. So as you can see, very varied sizes. So that's been the presentation of this fantastic site. We'd like to thank Davide and also everyone from Freal de Asfalti SRL for the hospitality and compliment them for buying blend and for the job they're doing here. Davide, thank you very much. Thank you.